Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because we have a new brand to try. I made an order from Half Magic Beauty, I guess it's called. Um, so this is the brand from the makeup artist from the show Euphoria. If you don't know what that is, it's a show on HBO. It's very intense and <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know if I'd recommend it to people if you haven't seen it because I've heard a lot of people say like they can't watch that show because it's too like triggering. It's about like addiction and loss and like depressing <laughs> things, but it's actually a really good show in my opinion. But if you're not familiar, like one of the most like popular things about the show um, became the makeup looks because they're very um, different from any other show like about teenagers I find. They're very like colorful and fun and like whimsical. So um, I was really excited when I saw that the makeup artist, her name is Donnie Davey I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I was excited to see that she came out with her own makeup line. Um, so like I said, it's called Half Magic and I just wanted to show you, this is how like my little packing slip came. They actually pinned it with um, like a hairpin with the logo. So it's like this star kind of thing and I thought that was really cute. So this is like the, um, whatever that's called, like the thing they put in the boxes. And it just says, wear your heart on your face here. And on the back, this is the logo again. It says, we bring half of the magic, you bring the rest. So that's kind of like the theme of this line. It's kind of like your own expression and your creativity, how you use the products is kind of like up to you. Um, so I thought it was really cool. And it says on the bottom, take a ride with us and share your hashtag half magic look at half magic beauty. Yeah, so it's called half magic beauty. So I didn't get everything from the line because we all know I don't even need more makeup. But I had to try some things. So I got two of the eye, what are these called? The Chrome Addiction Eye Paints and Liners. So these are like liquid shadows basically and there's matte versions and shimmer versions and I got one matte and one shimmer. And then I got a lip kit which I for some reason thought was going to come like together but it's just like two separate products but when you buy them together it's a lip kit I guess. So I got a um, Mouth Cloud Soft Matte Lip Cream and the matching lip liner. This is the shade Magic Brownie, but the lip liner has like actually two shades because it's double-ended, which I'll show you soon, but I have, um, one side is called I'll Pray For You, and the other is I Have Needs. So I thought that was cute. I also got the face gems, so if you know anything about the Euphoria looks, there's a lot of face gems, there's a lot of like eye stickers involved. So like if you're gonna get anything from Half Magic, you must get these, like it's just part of the whole aesthetic. Normally I would not have picked something up like this, but I, feel, I felt like it just had to be done in this case. So. This came with 72 crystals in three different sizes and I got the iridescent sparkle ones because there's like neon ones and something else I think but I got these because I thought they would go with like any kind of look. And then I got the Dew Lock Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist. And this is what like I'm really excited about for some reason. Even though I've already like tested it on my hand, it's nothing like revolutionary. But I really liked that it said hydrating set and refresh mist. And the name of it is Dew Lock, like D U D E W. So I'm hoping, you know, it's really good for my dry skin. 
So let's just get started. This is gonna be like an experimental <laughs> video. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't normally do like these kind of looks. Like this is the, you know, the looks they're showing. So like obviously very different, very like graphic, um, graphic liners and stuff. Yeah, so let's just jump in. I already have um, like a, well, I have my Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint on, so it's just like a sunscreen. It's not really a tinted moisturizer or anything. Um, and I did do highlighter and blush already, and then I realized I forgot to put like any kind of base product on, <laughs> so I guess we're just doing like a natural face, but I might put something else on after we finish up with this. But just in case you were wondering, and obviously I did my brows already. So, I think I'm first going to go in with my um, should I go in with the primer potion? Because these are liquid. Yeah, I think I should. Anyway, I, I always use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, so might as well stay consistent. And I just use a like small amount of this because I feel like if you use too much, it has the opposite effect and it just makes everything too slippery. And I kind of do have like a... I have an image in my head of how I want to do this, but I'm scared. Like, <laughs> I won't be able to match both sides if I just freehand it. So I pulled out my Tarte um, Fake Awake. It's like a nude eyeliner that I always use. But I thought I could use this to like sketch out lightly some kind of shape because I think like I, well, I definitely want to use both, the matte and the shimmer, but I want to go in with the matte as like a graphic liner kind of situation. And then I think put the shimmer all over the lid, I guess. So, well, first let me show you what I even have here. So I told you these were called the Chrome Addiction Eye Paint and Liner, but I forgot to say which shades I got. So I got the this matte one in the shade BR Aliens, and I believe this was described as a chartreuse on the website. So this is the packaging. I have to say it does not feel like luxury, if you know what I mean. Not that it's like cheap, but it's just, it's like not heavy and it's like made of plastic and it just feels very lightweight. And mine is not like totally aligned, if you can tell. I don't know. I just feel like the packaging is not very luxurious. Like they didn't really focus on the packaging itself, although like the aesthetic of it is cute, it's it just feels lightweight. Um, but it has like a little window showing the color that's inside, and then it says half magic on both sides actually. So yeah, and I do like how it's like a rectangle, like it's different. I just feel like I don't know. It could have been more. I just feel like for the price, it could have been more, I guess, is what I'm, I'm trying to say. So this is the color. I thought it was super interesting. So it's a doe foot applicator, and you can use these like all over the lid or as liners or however you want. Yeah, let me just do the kind of shape that I was thinking, because I have like deep set and like half hooded eyes so it's actually really hard for me to do a graphic look because I have to work with like this bone here so well I don't know how this is gonna turn out but let's see so I'm thinking of doing like a a wing I guess and I 
I don't want to put this like full line because I don't want it to mess with the formula of the of the eye paint. And then I want to bring it in. Maybe I just want to do that. Can't really even tell, but you'll see when I put the actual color on. And I think this might be actually a very quick look because it's just like eye paint, like you just swipe it on. You don't have to like sit there and blend all kinds of powders when you do looks like this. So let me just look straight ahead in my mirror to make sure this will match up. Okay, so this one was fine at first, but then this one kind of went I did a curve for some reason, and then I thought that actually might look cool, so I'm gonna try and do it on this eye also. I don't know, this might be a disaster. <laughs> but this is kind of why I wanted to try this brand, because it just makes you feel like you should do something out of the box, I guess, at least for me. So that's like the general shape I wanna do for now. And now I'm just worried, like, when I take this out, is there too much product to get, like, a line? But I kind of want to use the applicator and not have to, like, pull out another tool. So let's just go in with this. <laughs> Do I have anything else to say about these? Yeah, so it says on the box, high pigment, long wear, buildable color and apply directly as all over color or pair with eyeliner brush for precise lining. So it does expect that if you want to use it as a liner, like you'd have to take a brush and, you know, take some off of the applicator. But let's see. Okay. Ooh. So, Okay, already that was like a really good <laughs> first swipe. The pig, it's like full pigment and no like streaks or anything. I should probably zoom in. So that's how it looks so far. I love this color. And then I thought I was gonna bring it in like that. I don't know, I just thought that would be kind of fun. <laughs> so I think I will have to like dip back in though to get more product for the other side because I, I wipe it off inside when I take it out because I don't want too much. But I probably will have to fix this later. But let's just keep going. So... Uh-oh, see, that's what happened. So yeah, I think because of the way the applicator is, if you want to do like a line, you will really have to use an eyeliner brush because this is just too wide to do very detailed um, things, shapes. So now I think because I messed that one up, but I really like how this looks, like just like that. But yeah, these are definitely not matching. <laughs> so let's just see, I guess we can test like how they build on themselves. It's quite like a dry formula, so you kind of have to work, I don't know, not quickly, but like I don't know, like it's already kind of setting, and so I don't know if I want to, yeah, I might clean that up though, but it's definitely like already thicker than I wanted it to be, and I don't even know on camera if it looks how that's looking okay but I like this color 
So let's see if I can remove the part where I messed up. I think I'll need a Q-tip with um, my cellar water. So I will be back with that. Okay, so let's see if I can remove this easily. Oh, not really. So yeah, they set down pretty quickly, which is good because if you're going to put these like all over the lid, you'd want it to set and not like, you know, be emollient when you, as you move your eyes, because this is the matte formula. So if you wanted to use this, like you would a matte shadow, it's good that they set down. So I'm just kind of cleaning that up. I don't think they match. <laughs> uh, but I feel like my eyes are different shapes on, like they're not perfectly symmetrical. Let me just leave it like that for now because anyway we're putting shimmer over the lid and we'll cover some of my mistakes hopefully. But that was like, you know, a fun, that was just really easy to do. And I could see myself even just swiping this across my whole lid. Like that would be a really cool color or like a base for, you know, like a more, um, not as opaque shimmer over top that would look really cool so yeah um so the other one i got is the shimmer formula and this is the shade asmr so the shimmer and the matte have the same packaging you just have the window here where, where you see what's under what's inside. So I guess if you bought like many of these and you all you had them all stacked next to each other, you wouldn't be able to know <laughs> really which is which. So just to, to note. But this I'm very excited about because this is the shade like everyone seemed to get. Um, I don't remember how they described this one, but it just sounded really cool. And they say the same instructions as the matte ones. So this is the shade. Let me swatch it. Cause, oh, yeah, that is so pretty. Oh my God. So there's all like different color shimmers in there. That's gonna look really cool with this green. Cause I feel like there is like some green in there too. I see that like as you blend it, you can kind of sheer it out but it's really pretty. So I think that's how I want to apply it on my lid. Like I'm going to swipe it on with the applicator and I wiped it off again because there is quite a lot that comes off at a time. Uh, and then I'll kind of just like shear it out into the, this wing kind of thing that I've done. I just tried to wipe that off with a Kleenex and <laughs> kind of like stayed where it was. So I think these also have, will probably have a good staying power. And I want this like all over the lid, I think. So I'm coming from the inner corner to the wing. That's really pretty. Um, and I think I just want to get quickly a blending brush just to like blend that like I said So all my brushes are dirty <laughs> But I'm gonna try this one. This is um, I don't know in a shadow brush. Oh La Russe It's from a boxy charm like most of my brushes. Oh, okay, so as soon as I put the brush down it was like tugging so these have yeah they're definitely gonna stay where you put them which is good and a good way to be able to wear like 
something this glittery without worrying about it going like all over your face, which I like. But yeah, it's not very easy to blend these out with a brush at all. <laughs> but I think that looks really cool. Okay, this is coming together. And that was really easy to do. Again, I just swiped it on, wiped some off inside the component, and then I just swiped it on my eyelid. And it feels like really thin. Like I don't feel it on my eyelid, which I like. Because I don't know if you guys saw the new, well, I guess they're not really new. The um, Danessa Myricks, those like potted shadows she has. They're like liquid chrome kind of things. Those look like super uncomfortable <laughs> on the eye. And I did watch um, Julia Adams try them in a video and she said like it felt like she had put tape on her eyelids. So yeah, that kind of turned me off from those. And But this like, I don't feel it at all. But look how like even that went on. And I feel like you could even build these up if you want it to look really intense and like metallic. But like I said, I wiped some off before I put it on. And now I'm just kind of like trying to move it around, although it doesn't move much. I think I want to go a step further and go back in with the matte shade, which I just realized I forgot to swatch for you. So that's how it looks in a swatch. Very good pigmentation, I feel, especially for like this kind of color. Um, but I think I want to put another line here. I don't know. Let's just try. Okay, and I did notice like twice now when I kept putting it in and back out, like some of the product flung. So just pay attention <laughs> to that. So I kind of want to go here. Okay. Now I have to do the same on this side. <laughs> Oh no, I made a mess. I made a mess. Okay, now I'm just going crazy. So now I have to fix <laughs> that mistake. Okay, so definitely what I've learned is if you want to do a graphic look with these, you should not use the actual applicator. You know, get out an eyeliner brush and take some product off the applicator because it's definitely too like messy to be able to control, um, at least for me. Um, yeah. So now I need to fix that <laughs> with my my cellar water because I didn't want it to be such a thick line. And now I feel like I need to re-add some of the glitter, or sorry, the shimmer version. So it's definitely messy, <laughs> but I kind of like it. I don't know, it's very Euphoria if you have seen the show. So I'm just taking some in like my inner corner also. So the shimmer, if you're putting it all over the lid, definitely I like using the applicator, but the matte, if you want to do more precise, definitely you'll need a eyeliner brush or something to that effect. I think I'm going to keep the bottom bare for now because I still have the, um, the, what are these called? The face gems to use. And I think I have an idea for that too. But I do want to 
kind of sharpen the wing, so I'm going to take a liner brush, which I should have done from the beginning, but I really was just curious how it would apply with the applicator, but this is like an, a liner brush um, that I'm talking about. So I'm going to try this, and I'm going to take some off of the applicator. So it's coating the liner brush and let's see if I can do this and be in frame. Oh, so this was definitely not a clean brush. <laughs> so I'm just going back in to fix what I did. So I will say these do build on themselves, like even though it was already set down, I can add this on top and it doesn't like seem to make it all, you know, crumbly or anything. So that's good. I'm not sure how easy these would be to like put on the eye and like blend the edges like you would with probably another kind of liquid shadow. That might be a bit difficult. Just because of like the texture, it almost dries to like a powder, if you can see. But I think I should stop playing with this. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's not bad for my first like graphical look. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and like. This does not come off. Well, at least not with the dry. Let's try with my cellar water. It's still... Oh, that is not coming off. <laughs> so this could be fun later, trying to take this off. But like I said, that is a good thing with a liquid shadow. You want it to, you know, set down so that it's not constantly moving throughout the day. So I think that's the best I'm going to get. <laughs> I think it will come together with mascara. So let's try the face gems. Um, so these actually have, like they're already sticky on the back so you don't need any, you know, extra product or anything. And they were selling a applicator for these but it kind of just looked like like an eyelash applicator so I already have that and I didn't think I needed the half magic one to be able to use these so it's just a little sheet like this so you can see there's the smallest size up to the largest here so I like that they're different sizes the big one is quite big, I feel. So I think I'm gonna use the medium size. So this is the applicator that I have. It's a lash applicator from Velour. I'm seeing I can use this though. It's kind of the same thing. Maybe it's a bit thick, but let's see. So I'm taking the medium size and I think I'm gonna put one like where I put the green, like at the start there on both sides and then we'll see but I also have to change my battery so <laughs> I'll be back okay so let's try this so I'm just gonna try and take them off the sheet with this tool oh okay that was easier than I thought they're not like super stuck down there so I have it <laughs> You won't really be able to see because it's just so tiny. But I'm going to put it here. Okay, that was really easy. I love it. I'm very happy I got the iridescent ones because they shift in the light. That looks really cool. So now another medium sized one. Ok, 
Okay, that one I dropped on the floor, but I see it. <laughs> Let me get it. Okay, let's try. Uh oh. Okay. Let's try and put this in the same spot. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, I have no idea where that went. So, let me get another one. This might actually just be easier with my finger. Okay. Okay, that one is not wanting to lay flat. Okay. Because <laughs> I kind of put them like exactly where my eye fold is, so... But they're staying. They just look funny because it's making it like... turn downwards, if you know what I mean. So maybe that wasn't the best spot to put them, but... Whatever, it's fine. It looks cool, I think. Um, and I think I want to put um, another one. Actually, this is annoying me. Well, it's stuck there now though. So <laughs> maybe I should just stop fidgeting. But I think I want to put one here and one here. So let's try that. And I think I want to stick with the medium size. The small size is super small, like I don't even know how I would get it. I'd have to be like doing surgery and be very careful. But I will say like they're pretty easy to use considering. Like as soon as you put them down, they're stuck there. But yet they're not too sticky. Okay, I think that's fine. <laughs> do I want to put a small one here and here? I kind of do. Let's see how to do this now. These are so small, I'm scared. Like I'm taking it off the sheet with my finger, but then picking it up with the applicator. Imagine having to do this on a show. <laughs> Cause that's what um, it's like on Euphoria. They have these crazy looks and then that makeup artist has to do it multiple times and like in different scenes and redo it. I just don't know how she does it. I can't even do it this once. <laughs> well, but I'm also not a makeup artist, clearly, but I think it's a special talent. So I don't know how safe it is to put that right here, but I don't know. I kind of had to. Since I didn't put anything else on my lower lash line. Okay, that looks really cool, I think. I think that was a good decision. So I'm trying to make them as even as possible. I hope I succeeded. <gasps> okay, fun. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't wear this like on a regular day or to work or anything, but I don't know, just something fun to have. So I think that's all I want to do for the eyes. Um, so I'll do the rest of my eye, like my mascara and stuff, and then we'll come back to try the lip kit. 
and there's like a special way to apply them so I'll show you that too hopefully I can recreate what they suggest so I'll be back okay so I just did my Maybelline sky high and my wet n wild mega length um, my usual combination the mega length is on the bottom lashes I didn't want to put like too much mascara because I didn't want to hide the gems or like the eyeshadow look so yeah I think it looks really cool now that I have the mascara on it all came together and the mascara like helps to hide the mistakes <laughs> that I made so I hope on camera it looks cool also but yeah obviously I wouldn't wear this on a regular day like I said but if I was going to like a show or like a concert or something that could be really fun um, if I was someone who went to festivals I would wear this to a festival but yeah I'm really actually excited with how it came out I would never have done something like this without being inspired by Euphoria and this makeup line so I think it's really fun let's do the lips now like I said this is a lip kit but it's just two different it's two separate things so I said I have the soft matte lip cream the mouth cloud it's called in the shade magic brownie yes <laughs> so this was described as a 90s nude on the website so you guys know me and my 90s nudes um this packaging is fun it's um the same as the eye the chrome addiction right chrome addiction yeah but this is like a frosted kind of plastic and i kind of like this better but it is fun that they're different they're kind of like the opposite of each other oh and i didn't mention but this brand actually also has glitter eyeliners and they come in like the component is totally clear so you can see what you know the color is um, I just didn't get them because they were described as how were they described again something like not opaque basically and I didn't really want just like glitter everywhere although I'm sure it would be easy to use because it is a liner but I just didn't need those Anyway, back to the lip product. I'm very excited about this shade because it's described as 90s nude. Or did I say 90s nude? I meant 90s brown. You know what? Let me just look. <laughs> Let's just look at the website. I could have done this all along. But sometimes I feel like I over describe things and that's why my videos get so long. I just like to be thorough. Oh, and this is vegan and cruelty free, if you didn't know. So, so these are the liners I was talking about, the glitter pill. So that, that's a fun packaging. Um, but they're described as, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I needed that. Cause that's how like, you see how it's just like, a sheer base kind of thing. I just feel, felt like I would prefer to have the shimmer version of the Chrome Addiction. But those also look cool. Yes, so this was the Magic Brownie Lip Trick Kit. And it looked like this on the website. So I thought it was gonna come like in a box together, but it was just two separate things. So just, that's what I meant before. And this shade, oh, okay, wait, maybe you can't buy them separately. Um, I don't think you can, because I don't see the listing of just the separate, so, okay. But I thought I saw somewhere it was described, where it described the shade. I don't know. Now, this is, this says rosy brown. I really thought somewhere it said something 90s and that's what made me buy it but I could be wrong maybe I just thought in my mind that it looked 90s <laughs> who knows anyway all that to say 
This is a velvety soft lip cream with hydrating matte coverage and a soft blurring effect. So I really like those kind of like liquid lipsticks. So I'm assuming it means like it doesn't dry down and look super like cracky on your lips. So let's see. It doesn't smell like anything. Same component as the Chrome Addiction. Oh, but let me just tell you, because this came with like a whole thing. So these are the two kinds. So there's the, the brown one and like this purple one, purple and pink. And then it tells you inside how to make different looks, which is really cool. So I got this one, obviously. So let's see. Okay, let's try to do the the ombre one, the first one here. That just looks kind of cool. So it says, outline lips and shade in corners of the mouth with I'll pray for you to create depth. Okay, so the lip liner, like I mentioned before, is double-sided. This is the packaging. And this, I actually really like the, the component of this lip liner. So one side, and this is how it looks. So it's not like super skinny, but it's meant to be able to like blend in and, you know, do different things with. And that's the other side, which is like a lighter nude. So outline lips and shade in corners of the mouth with I'll pray for you. So the darker side is I'll pray for you. So let's do that. That's actually how I normally do my lip liner. I outline my lips and then I shade in the corners. So let's just do that. Oh, it's very creamy. Okay, very creamy. I could definitely see this being easy to just put all over the lips if you wanted. And then shade in corners. Then it says, apply magic brownie to the outer edges of the lips and I have needs to the center to create the perfect multi-dimensional ombre. Oh. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has that, like, that soft kind of feel. So I definitely see why it's called Mouth Cloud. And that kind of, like, that powdery I don't know how to describe it but I always mention the wet and wild cloud pout is that what it's called I don't know those wet and wild like marshmallow something I want to say there is the name cloud is in it also but it's that kind of thing um, which I like and then it said to put I have needs which is the lighter side of the lip liner said to put that to the center yeah these are so creamy like look I made a mess on here because it's just very glidey but I think I want to fix like the line there. I just don't want it to be so harsh here. So it's definitely a deep color. If you were expecting a nude, you won't really get it unless you only use the light side of the lip liner. But I think that looks really fun. And my lips aren't even. So ignore that. So the last thing 
is the Duloc Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist. And I love the packaging of this, the box itself. And then this is the packaging. So this is very heavy as opposed to like these things. This feels very, um, I don't know, weighted. Um, and it's kind of like this aerosol can, but the spray is not aerosol, so it doesn't, it's not a continuous mist. Um, and that's what the pump looks like. So I did try this already. When I first got it, I just had to like test the sprayer out. Um, and it's a really nice spray, let's see. Like, it's kind of one that you can push down slowly and it's like a mist. So let's try it and see if it actually adds like some dew. Woo, it is very um, wet. <laughs> So if you just wanted like a small amount, hold it further away from your face. But the mist is really nice. It's, it felt like light and it's not like coming at you like a MAC Fix Plus or, you know, something, some other sprays that are just like one shot right at your face. <laughs> this one is more even. So I think it did actually make me quite it did add a glow for sure. Um, there's no scent on this either from what I can tell. Yeah, nothing. So I, I do like this so far. I can't really speak to if it makes your makeup last longer. It's called a set and refresh mist. So I don't know if it's meant to be like, you know, an Urban Decay All Nighter or the Charlotte Tilbury one that's meant to like lock in your makeup. I think it's more like to refresh um, and add a glow. But yeah, it, it didn't do any drops or anything either. And yeah, I like it. So is that it? I feel like I definitely forgot something. But well, I forgot to put my base product on <laughs> today, but I think that's fine because I feel like on that show, Euphoria, it's really not about the base makeup. It's really about the eyes um, and the lips. So I'm really happy that this brand, like they let, well, I guess it's the show that let Donnie, the, the makeup artist, really do her own thing and like her own style. And she brought that into her own brand, which I think is really cool and something we don't always see with like celebrity brands. But yeah, so just to go over everything, I really like the pigmentation on these eye paints. They're very even. There was no like streaking or anything. I didn't have to like go back over the same spot. I just wanted to fix, like make it sharper where I did. But that being said, it does say on the packaging, if you want to use these as liner, what did it say again? It says pair with eyeliner brush for precise lining. So even they understood like if you want to do the look that like they're showing in their, well, you can't really see, but it, they're doing very graphical looks with these basically. And they're acknowledging that if you want to do it, you're going to have to use a brush. You can't just go in with the applicator like I did. <laughs> so because I didn't use a liner brush, it's not as like graphic and, you know, thin as I wanted it, but I still really like how it came out. And I think the star of the show though is the shimmer ones. Um, because they're just like super easy to just swipe on the lid and um, they don't crease. I mean, there's no creasing at all on these. I feel like they set down really quickly, but they also don't feel like anything on the eyelid. Like even with all these gems and everything, I don't feel like I have anything on my eyes, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I really like this shade. It has like yellow, green, just a really cool, um, 
shade that you can pair like you could put on top of like your regular eyeshadows you don't need to use it you know with the matte version and you can use it you don't have to use it by itself but if you do use it by itself it's quite like there's a good pigment on these like a good base pigment to them so i really like those two the lip product that it's almost might be even too creamy because um it's still like when i rub my lips together it still moves around um so i don't know like about the wear time on this but i do really like how the way they're telling you to use it like you can't just do that with any kind of formula it has to be like with something creamy that you can blend them together so i really like that they gave you this with it too to you know make you try different things so there's just a lot of ways you can use just the two products and technically when you get the kit you're getting like three shades because you can use the lip liner all over the lips um yeah I just don't know like is it gonna keep moving around well I'll have to see um, and I'll have to use this with like other lip products too to see if as a lip liner is it really gonna do what I want from a lip liner like keep my lip line intact I don't know but I really like the shade of it and yeah it was fun to use and this feels very comfortable on the lips and I don't see this drying down like much more than it has already because it was described as it was described as a soft blurring effect. So I like that. I like that it's not a, like a typical liquid lipstick because I think those are like kind of old news by now. We want more, you know, comfortable lip products. And the spray did what it said. It definitely made me dewy. I was already kind of dewy, but I definitely see the difference after putting this on. But like I said, I just don't know if it's actually like gonna set down and like lock in my makeup. That's something I'll have to update you on. So I think that's it. Oh, and just the, to mention the gems, I mean, you can get these from other brands, but I haven't tried them, so I don't know. But these ones were very easy to use. I really like how they're already there's already a sticky back to them, and they were super easy to get off the sheet, but yet still sticky enough to like stay on my eyes. And these like they don't feel like they're gonna move, so I don't know. I think these are really fun too. So that's everything. So let me know if you guys have tried this brand, if you intend to, if you want to pick anything up. I hope they come out with more um, shades because the lip trick kits you can only get in the brown or the purple, which is like you have to, you know, really be going for a specific look to, <laughs> to wear like a purple and pink um, lip liner combo. So yeah, I hope they... I hope they do well and they can expand on things but I think for a first launch like everything was really good like the formulas you can tell are good quality and everything like does what it's described as so I really like that so anyway I hope you guys like this video and this like strange look I have <laughs> going um yeah I think it's fun though so yeah if you liked it give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!